All right, hi guys. This is take two on the video. We <laughs> wanted to um, do uh, like an homage to all of our uncles and aunts from the Vargas side. And so we're like pretty much talking about um, our Vargas family, that they had so much to like do with our upbringing, our molding, they had so much to do um, with how we are now, like our thoughts. And so we just kind of wanted to talk about each one of our uncles and aunts and like say what we think about them, you know, like ultimately what is the thoughts that we have of our family. This weekend we spend it with our tios and tias in Bakersfield, the Vargas family, and it was really cool. Like I got to talk to all of them and I was just thinking like, inside of me. I wonder if they know how much they mean to me. I wonder if they know what I think about them. So for Vargas's out there, um, if you ever wondered what your nieces thought about you, well, this is what they think about you. So let's go down the line talking about like each deal. Each okay. Let's yeah. start about the, from the oldest one, which is our dad. Yes. And my perspective of my dad is... Wait, wait, wait. But you, you have to say his name. My dad is Francisco Vargas. <laughs> he's the oldest. He's the oldest. Um, and I think he's amazing because he's very hardworking. He's responsible. And my sisters and I are all very responsible and hardworking people. And I think that we learned that from watching my dad. He actually worked two jobs um, when we were smaller to try to support us because my mom didn't work. And it was very important for them to uh, have a parent at home with the kids. So that's what I learned from my dad. Um, and that is what I really appreciate from him. But Patty is going to tell you a little bit about him because she's not his daughter. I'm um, the niece. Yeah. So my tío Pancho is Francisco. Well, my tío Pancho, um, like Brenda said, he's a hard worker. But in the other video, I had mentioned that when I think of my uncle, I think of Holy. Porque, I'm going to do my Spanglish here. Porque mi tío Pancho era una persona que yo no podía decir una mala palabra around him. Because I felt like he was going to say like, what? He would be you disappointed know? in you. Yes. Like, um, he was kind of like that conscious moral yes, person in your life. Yes. Yeah. So, um, ese es mi, mi tío Pancho. Hard worker, loving um, he, he's good looking. He looks very good for his age. And algo que me gusta de él es que todavía juega um, handball. And he's really he's good active, yeah. at handball. He's very, very active. For me, um, my dad uh, was, I think he taught me two things, like really, really good things is that hard worker, don't be basic, go to work, get things paid for, get things done, no excuses, because yeah. he was a no-nonsense kind of guy in that area, like, he never, I never heard him say anything, like, about, like, not showing up to work or not going to work, he just got things done, bills got paid, mm -hmm. we never worried about that. Um, second thing, he got, he got us to know God, and, like, he, I think he knew, like, one day I'm not going to be able to be here for you, so you need to turn to God. And he, he taught us how to turn to God because mm -hmm. we weren't going to have him there helping us all the time. We still do, but, but like, you know, on the emotional side of it, we need God. Like, we just need God. And so for me, he, like, instilled that, like, like that knowledge of you need God in your life. You know, you if you're going to make it through this life, you're going to need God. So that is my dad. That is what I think about when I think about my dad. And then the second one down is, um, sorry, my tío Javier, Javier Vargas. And um, I think when I think of him as uh, being very direct to the point, um, I always have known um, that he loves us very much and that he cares for us. Um, he's funny as well, but you got to get to know him and be a little bit more comfortable with him um, because at first... You might think that he's very quiet and reserved, but as you get to know him, I think um, he has, uh, he's funny, yeah. he, he's funny. And like I said, I always have felt that he loves me. Um, since we were little, he used to live with us um, before he had his kids and got married, and I got to know him um, in a different way where he would always take care of me and play with me and um, I always thought he was super cool because he had a really cool green car. 
but that's my perspective on my tío Javier. What about um, you, Patty? Well, my tío Javier, um, he's quiet, but he's also very lovable um, in his own ways. Like all of my uncles, they're very lovable in their own way, but my, my tío Javier, he's very quiet, but you know that he's there. You know, like he's like that. Like, ¿cómo se dirá? He's very. You can count on him. Or yeah, you could count on him. Reliable. Reliable. Um, es una persona que no te va a juzgar. Yeah. You know, he might just maybe think, oh my God, my niece Patty is crazy, but he won't. No te lo va a decir en tu cara. <laughs> you know, so he won't hurt your feelings. Um, but he is an amazing uncle. You know, um, él también, I viví con él un tiempo, and you know, very, very, very nice man. When I when I think about my tío um, Javier, I think about like this like pillar, like a strong man, male, male influence in my childhood. Um, I always just knew that my tío Javier was there, and I knew that he loved me, and I almost felt like really protected around him. Like I just knew like he's quiet, but I know he's got my back. You know, like I just know that he was gonna be there, and he was a good influence. You know, really really quiet, very very reserved, but. Um, I don't know, you. I, I felt like, I always felt loved around him. Yeah. I I felt loved around all my uncles yeah. and aunts, but, like, yeah, I just I mean, felt I like he, like more, though, yeah, like, he's like reason. this pillar yeah. of strength, I think he like, of a pillar of, like, influence, like, I'm here, no, I'm going to make sure that you yeah. guys are okay, you know, and that's when, I, and when I think about him as a little girl, I always knew that, like, he was there, and, like, it was going to be okay, you know, he loves me. I'm good, you know, like this strong author male authority in my life um, that was there to protect me. That's how I think about my tío Javier, and I know he loves me, and I know, and and so I always felt loved by him, you know, and so that's what I think when I think about my tío Javier. And yeah. then the next one down is my tío Marcos, right, Patty? Oh, yes. Patty? So my tío Marcos is Patty's dad, and <laughs> I always think my tío Marcos is super fun. He yeah. is funny. He likes to sing. He's a little shy around people that don't yeah. know him, but you know, once you get to know him, uh, he's very talkative, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get a word in when he is going, uh, you gotta pide la palabra. You know? <laughs> get in so, line. Pide la palabra. Yeah. <laughs> so, and he's very involved with his kids. I always see how he spends a lot of time with his kids, his grandkids. You know, he's very much about family, I feel like, and um, that's what I know about my tío Marcos. Uh, yeah. What about you, Carolina? Okay, what I think about my tío Marcos is, like, I was telling this story to Patty yeah. yesterday. Like, I just think of my tío Marcos of, like like someone that expresses himself through music like cuando yo era chiquita that's what I remember my tío Marcos was always there and like he would like let it out you know he was like like uh -huh. cantaba la canción de vivo de tres animales que que quiero como como mi vida. Vida. <laughs> like just belch it out you know we were driving but like I would see his face and he was like so emotional you know and I was like yeah you know <laughs> so um I always just felt like my tío Marcos is awesome. He's cool. He's a cool guy overall, mm -hmm. you know, and he's just like, like, and he's a, like, I was telling Patty yesterday, he's like, no nonsense sugarcoating. Like, my tío Marcos is who he is. He's not going to sugarcoat things. Um, he's just going to let you know, like, this is what I think. Oh, and then also another thing that I <laughs> was thinking about last night is like, mi palabra um, vale un segundo. You know, like, yeah. that... I say that right now, take it, or it might not be here tomorrow, you know, like, I just, he is just like a funny okay. guy, yeah, yeah, he's a funny guy, you know. Well, you have a different experience, dad, yeah. Yes, well, no, I mean, he's fun, Yeah. and like Brenda said, he's very, um, como se dice, unido con su familia, like with his kids, grandkids, he's always there. You know, I remember him going to my soccer games in high school, sea ca um, calor or sea frío, whatever it was, he was there, you know, um, that's right. and that's something that mm -hmm. I will always um, cherish about my dad, porque siempre ha estado allí. Um, y no solo eso, es bien trabajador. I mean, he met my mom when they were 13, so they had me at age 15, so my dad has been working since he was 15. 
That's crazy. You know, um, and they're still together, and parecen novios todavía. They do. You know, um, and when I look at their relationship, I love that. You yeah. know, and my dad is very shy, but he's not shy. I don't know if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it makes complete sense. Um, don't he's not shy around his family, but he's shy with other people. You know, um, and he is funny and he loves to sing. Um, if he wasn't that shy, and he would be singing everywhere. He canta bonito. Yeah, he does. You know? He really does. Yeah. He just belches it out. Yeah. It's awesome. Can sing it. The next one down. Julian. Is my tío Julian? Yeah. Okay. Actually, my tío Julian, <laughs> I can relate so much to him. <laughs> I feel like him and I have the same personality. He is a little extravagant. Um, he usually gets himself in trouble um, because, uh, you know, he just says what he thinks when he thinks it. And He's hilarious. He is. he is hilarious. And I love my tío Julian. My tío Julian is... Awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. He's out there. He's funny. He's fun. And I have had a um, close relationship to my tío Julian um, because he used to live um, in town with us when we were smaller and we used to actually see each other every day. So I would say my tío right? Julian like, is fun. Fun. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think about my tío Julian, like, he's breakdancing. My tío Julian is telling me scary stories as a little girl. Um, he's, like, sparking. He is. he is sparking something within all of us, like, all the time, you know. Like, my tío Julian is, like, I think he's a limit pusher, and he's amazing. You know, he's everything that everyone wants to say, and he says it, and he just, like, we feel like, yes. We're yeah. part of you. We are an extension of you, you know? Like, we are a product of your scary stories. We are a product yes. of your ratchet stories, too. Like, you're very just, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the times, you know, like, I mean, we are, like, we, we, we do know how to be proper and behave in front of people, but also, like, in our core, like, if we get all together, we're a little um, scandalous. <laughs> Yeah, we could be a little ratchet sometimes, but <laughs> also because I feel like it is like almost like a little bit of an extension of my tios and my yeah. tias, but my tío Julian, you know, like we could sit there and talk to my tío Julian about anything and everything, and the more we're inappropriate, the better, you know, like we feed off of each other's inappropriateness, and it is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I love my tío Julian, like... He told he taught me how to be scared of dolls that they might come to life and throw up, and also he taught me how to never see marbles the same way again. Yeah. And if you see a red marble, that is the devil's eye. You need to run, you know. So my tío Julian is amazing. He's like a storyteller. He's a dancer. He is a crack up. He should be a stand up comedian. He is hilarious. <laughs> but that's what I think about my tío Julian. What I think about my tío, I lived with him for many years. Um, I love him very much because he, he's been a part of me for soccer. He was my first soccer coach. Um, it was all guys and I was the only girl. Um, <laughs> he would make us do push-ups, sit-ups. Yeah, you know, tenía haciendo ejercicio. Um, me acuerdo de él bailando, you know, doing his break dancing. I don't know if you remember when he told us que um, no sabíamos cocinar and we made the rice. Oh, yeah, I could, yeah, And I we do. put sugar in the yeah. rice, and we made him eat it, and he said it was good. He ate our cochinada. And then we put salt. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I don't that. know, but we cooked for my yeah. tío rice. Yeah, I remember um, that. Porque nos dijo que no sabíamos, but, and we proved them that we did. <laughs> we, we proved them? <laughs> that right. Know. We no proved them right. <laughs> no sabía bien, pero it was good. Um, my tío is very funny, um, y es una persona que te va a decir lo que te va a decir. I love you that know? about him. Yeah, he's very open. And he loves his kids. You know, es un, um, un ejemplo de que, you know. He's always been there for his for voice. For his voice, yeah. you yeah. know, like, that's awesome. Y sus boys love him. Yeah. You know, y a mí me da mucho gusto de ver cuánto mi tío quiere a sus hijos. Yeah. You know? He's a cool guy. Yes, he is. And who's uh, the next one down The next one is theory? mi tía Irene. Ah. Uh, 
So my tea Irene is a little reserved. She kind of reminds me a lot of my uh, invisible sister Nancy. That Isn't that what seen. I told you yesterday? She <laughs> reminds me so much of Nancy too. <laughs> They're soul sisters. Yes. For sure. Um, I don't know if she wants us to call her shy girl, but <laughs> <laughs> we call Nancy shy girl. Why not? But I kind of feel like my Tirene is like that too. But she's very um, kind and loving and emotional. Mm -hmm. yes. She's definitely a crier. Yes. Um, <laughs> which is kind of hard to uh, see her like that. Somebody yeah, because yeah. you know what? Her brothers are so out there, and she's <laughs> they don't. Yeah, they're not cry babies. <laughs> and she's like you know very emotional, but. That only shows that she cares so much, yes. and we appreciate her. We do. I always knew as a little girl that I could talk to my tira mm -hmm. about anything. I always knew she had my back. I knew she was not uh, chismosa. <laughs> she wasn't going to talk bad about me or no. talk about what I told her. And I knew that she always had the best intentions for me. And even to this day, like, um, I could... I. I mean, she's amazing. I could talk to her probably about whatever, and I know that she wouldn't tell anybody. Yeah, your private life. Yeah. yeah. And she won't say anything. And she's not judgmental. No. Like other Nothing. people could be. So yeah. I love that about her. Okay, what I think about my tia Irene, I was telling this story yesterday, like <laughs> every other story. My tia Irene, I feel like is, um, for me, was one of, okay, so like I have this really present memory of my tia Irene as a little girl. Um, she, I, w I went to her house as a little girl, I might have been like 12 or something like that, and she poured a bag of makeup in front of me. You guys, I was makeup deprived. I am someone that like, wanted to like, play with makeup, and like, I was very girly girly, but my mom is an amazing woman, but she is not a makeup kind of girl. She did not own any makeup. She does not do her makeup. She does not color hair, her hair, things like that, you know? And so like for my, for me, like my, my aunt, um, Irene was like a, like the first really sign of like femininity, you know, in my life, you know, like this really beautiful woman, you know, she was really young too. And so she poured a bunch of makeup in front of me and she's like, Carol, you, you can have it all. You can take it all, take whatever you want. And to me, I was like a little kid in a candy store. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, it blew my mind that it's still, like, a very permanent thought. Like, to me, it was, like, such a, like, oh, my God, I can have all this makeup. And to this day, I use Clinique concealer and powder because she told me as a little girl that Clinique was the best brand that I could use for my skin. She taught me about brands. She's like, don't be a basic chick. Use Clinique, you know? And so I was like, okay, then I use Clinique because my aunt... <laughs> To, and that is beautiful, you know, because again, my mom did not do her makeup. And like my day, then I remember she was like really stylish and she would wear her boots mm -hmm. and her long, pretty, curly hair. She was just super pretty, you know, to me. And I was like, oh, I just kind of want to be like her, you know. And like she gave me all kinds of makeup. Okay, my idol now, you know. And so like that is what I think about my tia Irene. That's like the one thing that like I always go back to. She gave me makeup. She introduced me to makeup and she let me have all her makeup and like that was gold to me you know mm -hmm. as a little girl well to me my tia Irene um is love um my tia Irene is kind of like my second mom like she took care of me she would take me to kinder I remember um her um her and I walking to Chuck E. Cheese in the rain just because I wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese you know um I have the memories of um, planning her wedding, staying up um, a little late, um, <laughs> doing the invitations, watch, watching Goosebumps, you know, um, it's, no, I mean, awesome. es una persona bien hermosa mi tía, like, y como dijo Brenda, es bien um, um, emotional, you know, si tú le dices a ella que la quieres, like, ella siente tan bonito que she'll cry, you know, and you know, that makes you feel like, wow, you know, tanto le importa lo que uno piense de ella, like, que la queremos, and I think que todos sus sobrinos y sobrinas lo, la queremos bien mucho, porque she's been there for everything, you know, um, desde pequeñas hasta ahorita, de, I'm, what, 34, I'm going to be 34, and she's still there, mm -hmm. you know, she's so, a cool chick. love you, tía. Yes, we love her. So, and then the yeah. next one is my tía Ofelia. 
which is the second one that I feel like I could totally relate to. Mm -hmm. So I could relate a lot to my tío Julian and to my tía Ofelia. <laughs> She's um, a crack up. My tío Ofelia is a little out there as well. But <laughs> just like us though. Yeah, and she's yes. beautiful. She she is yeah. like really, really yeah. good looking. That lady is a little older than us. She's got a flat belly. She's got like a beautiful body. Like she is just like I wanna look like her now, you know? And she's amazing. <laughs> she's cool, you know, she's down to earth. Again, that's someone that like, we can completely talk like I don't know how else to say it, but, like, ratchet stuff with, you know, like, we could sit down and, like, be real, be real real with her, you know, and you she just, party like, with her too. yeah, we could just really relate with her, you know, and, yeah. like, just be basics with her, and I love that about her, you know? I remember my Tia Ophelia one time telling me, look, Brenda, I'm gonna give you this shirt, but this shirt is a boutique shirt yeah. this is not a generic shirt yeah. so i just remember um her teaching me that because we i didn't, didn't know that i didn't know that my mom didn't teach us my mom was you know a very humble she yeah. is a very humble woman yeah. and she doesn't do makeup she doesn't do fashion she doesn't do so anything that we have i mean we have a salon now in, in reality, it's an extension of what they taught us. Like, to me, like I told you, they mm -hmm. don't make up to me. That was like gold, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, that blew my mind. Picking up all this makeup. And, and I always thought, you know, when I'm older, I want to I want to be like my Tia Ophelia, you know? like <laughs> And shop up boutiques, right? I yeah. think we all wanted to be like my I, Tia Ophelia. I still want to be I like, like her. I was like, I don't want to be generic, you know? I yeah. want to be different. I want to... Um, shop at boutiques. I want to yeah. stand out, you know? I want to I wanna have good quality things. Not exact, not quantity, but quality. And that's something that she taught me about quality yeah. versus quantity. And that's something that I learned from her. Yeah. And I really appreciate my Tia Ophelia because I think she's amazing. I could talk to her like forever. She's so interesting and You don't get fun. bored with me, yeah. And I just love being around her. She's mm -hmm. just, I just love it. Um, about my Tia Ophelia. My Tia Ophelia is amazing. She's beautiful. Um, you could actually hang out with her. I mean, she's not much older than us, ¿verdad? Pero you could, she's still our tía. Todavía hay un respeto ahí, es la tía. But you could still hang out with her. Like, she's super cool. Um, algo que cuando um, dicen mi tía Ofelia, lo primero que viene es fotógrafa. She wants to take pictures de toda la familia. And I remember when we were small, she would make us pose, remember? Oh, I remember that, at going the park. to the park and holding you know, um, bear. Looking at the sky, <laughs> looking at the bird, you know, y ahí estamos yo y Carolina, like posing. Striking poses. Um, todavía hace lo mismo mi tía. <laughs> and she's amazing. Well, I think she wants to capture yeah. the essence. Yeah, todas las memorias. We're yes. thankful for that because we have videos of us when we were little. We have pictures of yeah. us from when we were little and at different parties and things like that. And, and that's that's yeah. thanks to her. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Tia. Awesome. Yeah. And now Is... the grand finale, my Tio Nono. <laughs> my Tio, my Nono. tio <laughs> Nono is a character and I love my Tio Nono. I love him and respect him very mm -hmm. much. He's super fun. He's around us all the time. Yeah. People always tell him if he's our, asks him if he, he's our brother. I know, and he gets happy. Yeah, he <laughs> looks very good. He looks very young. He has really good skin, um, so, you know, he looks young. <laughs> and he's fun, and we could totally talk to him about whatever. And he will definitely set you in your place if you're out of line. And we yeah. love that about him. And we, we love, yeah, yeah, we appreciate that he uh, feels so comfortable around us that um, he will he's let not, us uh, he doesn't care if he hurts our feelings. Mm -hmm. So Which we love about him. So, Because yeah, he we does it for he our best. He doesn't sugarcoat things, which, yeah. yeah. We know he has the best intentions yeah. with us, so we appreciate my tío Nono. And he is hilarious. Um... Yeah, so what do you think about my tío okay, Nono? Okay, my tío Nono, <laughs> I literally can legit sit with my tío Nono and talk to him about real spiritual things, like about God things, you know? Like, tell him, like, he can really sit down with me and talk to me about, like, Girl. really, really spiritual things, like, really, he's very educated and he is very mm -hmm. knowledgeable um, in finances, the Bible, a lot of different things, you know, like, moral aspects, but also... 
I can like five minutes later talk to him about my bowel movements and like he can be telling me <laughs> about like que me coma esta cagadita and stuff like that, you know? Like, and I love that about him because like he is like everything, you know? He is like, so, like, a, like he could be like your friend, but then he's like, but let me teach you something, yeah. you know? Like, and I love that about him, you know? I'm always, and also like my tío Nono is like, Kind of like a father figure yes. as well to us. I He's think. a father figure, but also he brings it down, and he is like our friend. Yeah, like he is like our friend, and he like he genuinely loves us, you know. And and he tells us that, but he also shows us that all the time, you know. And he's always kind of guiding us through life, you yeah. know. I feel like he's always been there guiding me through life, you know. And like, <laughs> like I said, teaching me weird stuff and like <laughs> talking to me about real weird stuff. And then also teaching me stuff like that are important. <laughs> to me, my tío is, um, como dicen, respect, respeto, um, y amor. Porque mi, mi, de todos mis tíos, they all show me their, their love in their own way, but my tío Nono is the one that he'll come and hug me. You know, te abraza, you know, and he tells you how much he loves you. Like, he will show you, you know, y mis otros tíos, like, my dad, the way that he tells me that he loves me, como estas pendeja. You know, to me, that's <laughs> yeah. because he, and you're like, he loves he does me. Love me. He loves me. <laughs> he knows you know, just what um, to call me. To, so, todos mis tíos to tienen su own way, but mi tío actually shows you, like, te abraza. He you me, know, daddy. es bien amoroso. Um, y como dicen, he's the type that he will be there for you. Um, como yeah. un papá o como un hermano. So, he's, mm -hmm. he's both. You know, mm -hmm. te enseña lo bueno y lo malo, y te lo va a decir si es lo malo. You know, so he's an awesome guy. Yeah. My tío Nono is awesome. Yes. All of them are. Todos. All right, so let's talk about my grandpa. Pancho Vargas. <laughs> the <laughs> matriar matriarch of this family. Um, the creator. My grandpa. My grandpa, if I have my self-esteem all the way up here if i think that i am sometimes a little much it's because my abuelito like since i was a little girl he would be like he would call me su morenaza su reina like how be he would always tell me like how beautiful my skin was he would always tell me like how beautiful yeah. i was my grandpa would always make me feel like the most prettiest girl in the world and he would always tell me like what do you want to be you know like mm -hmm. do you want to be a doctor do you want to be a lawyer you can be whatever you want to be you know like because you're smart enough you know you're pretty enough you're smart enough you got everything you need to be what you like lo que tu quieres hacer mm -hmm. and i was like grandpa i just want to be a hairdresser you know like <laughs> i just want to be like working at a salon you know but even then he was like yeah lo que tu quieras you can be whatever you want because tu eres una reina you know mm -hmm. like and that's what he would tell me all the time so like i grew up as a little girl always knowing like man i'm the prettiest girl because like my grandpa tells me all the time that he sees me that you're beautiful your skin color is so pretty you're such a beautiful girl you can do anything you want to do you know like and so, like, I grew up with that mentality, like, just thinking, like, well, he thinks I'm all that. I'm all that, you know? <laughs> Nobody can contradict it, that theory. So, I grew up thinking I was all that, you know? And so, like, I owe that to my grandpa, for sure. What do you think, Brenda? I think that, I don't know why you think that, because I'm all that. <laughs> Since I was a little girl, he would tell me que yo era su reina, and I was like, yes, I understand. yes I am. <laughs> I understand that my grandpa tells you guys that, but I am the first grandchild and the best grandchild and she is the most yeah. and yeah. extra grandchild <laughs> I, I do believe that i am a queen and i do believe i am all that and i do believe i have beautiful skin color and a you whole bunch of stuff how perfect our skin color was and how we were like yeah and you know what <laughs> those are all things that my grandpa always told me to and this I day and i believe yeah. him yesterday so, he know? was on Sunday, he was telling me all these awesome things about me, you know, like how I wasn't his favorite. You know, he always I know, me, I'm, I'm his favorite. favorite. I'm his favorite. Abuelito, tú me dijiste en México que yo era tu favorita. <laughs> yo soy la favorita porque yo soy la mayor. 
There's nobody else besides me because I'm the oldest one. <laughs> Todas I'm somos first, las favoritas. I'm, I'm his Tenemos un diferente um, <laughs> lugar en el corazón de mi abuelito. So mm -hmm. that is what I always think about my grandpa. Uh, man, he built me up. Yeah, he, he really did. built us up. He like did. It was going to be hard for anyone to tear us down <laughs> yeah. after, you know, a lifetime of this I mean, kind of our, conversations. Our, our spouses, our partners, <laughs> our people that come into contact with us. Uh, it's hard uh, for people to tear us down or for us to believe the lies of people <laughs> yeah. talking about us or... Because we literally had this we, huge crew like building you know, us up since we were we little. We have a good you know? foundation. Yeah. yeah, our foundation is that we are amazing and we could do whatever. So yeah. no one told us otherwise. It's hard mm -hmm. for you to knock us off of our pedestal. When, yeah, you know. <laughs> um, and that's what I think of my grandpa. What I think of my grandpa, like I told Carolina yesterday, is brave. Es una persona um, que no tiene miedo a nada. You know, y ahora ya que es mayor. Um, Es más, um, ¿cómo puede decir? Como más abierto a sus um, emociones. Y a veces me da tristeza porque no me gusta ver a llorar a mi abuelito. No. Porque yo siempre lo he visto um, fuerte, ¿verdad? Um, y todavía para mí es esa persona fuerte. Y la verdad, él es una persona que quiere a su familia unida. Mm -hmm. A todos sus hijos yeah. unidos, a todos sus nietos. Eso really, yeah. um, eh, él es una persona que lo enseña. Y, y uno lo sabe porque todos a lo mejor no nos vemos tan seguido but I love them like yeah. son mis son mis hermanas también Ditto. you know um, a mis sobrinos a Ben y a que está Naomi los quiero mucho and I'm very very proud of them y allí Angel Carlos este oh, eh, Omar, Omar Eric, todos Eric pues yo le digo Fernando yeah. Panchito y luego están los de mis sisters my brother I mean I love all my family Yes, you know they're and amazing, actually, and we actually keep in contact yeah. with our co with our cousins because my grandpa's always like, yeah, talk to your cousin, keep in contact with your cousin because then we're gonna get married to our family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> well, like, I'm pretty daughter, sure. So and we'll we'll make everyone cousins. from Adio is related, just to let you know. According to if you don't know what Adio is, Google it. <laughs> Adio de Rayon. <laughs> <laughs> but and yes. my grandma. Yes. My grandma is kind. Amor. She is, I feel like my grandma is yes. the glue. Like, I feel like my she dad, is. I feel like everybody is attracted to my grandma. And yeah. we all come together because of my grandma and my grandpa, but my grandma, you know, she's like the glue to that family. My grandma loves me. Yeah, she does. And, love me. <laughs> you know, I love my grandma and my grandma loves me and there's like no doubt in yeah. my mind or in my heart that my grandma loves me and I, you know, that's what I can tell you about my grandmother. She's amazing. She took care of her kids. Um, she made sure that they were always okay and united and I really appreciate that of uh, my yes. grandma. I really love my yeah. grandma too, and I also think a lot of the times, Brenda, you know, regardless of how their her children might have felt, I think she always encouraged her children to stay with their family, yes. you know, and I'm thankful yes. for my grandma because I feel like she was a great influence for my dad to be yeah. a good dad, you know, like, I think that there was a lot of things that we didn't see in the back end of it, and mm -hmm. maybe conversations that we didn't see in the back of it, but my grandma had my my dad is her son and my grandma influenced him to be like a hard worker and i and I, like i still you know can hear her words like she always told my dad stay with your family hang out with your family like where's your mm -hmm. family you know be with your family her fam his family she was referring to us yeah. you know and yeah. so she didn't put herself first she was always like you need to watch them me yeah. brenda nancy Angel. You know, so, like, she had a big influence in the men, like, her men, you know, her sons. And I believe that my dad loved us, loved us, that he would never leave us. But even if he did turn around, my grandma would be like, no, no, watch your kids, yeah. you know, be with your kids. So I'm thankful to my grandma because she gave me a good dad, you know. Yeah. She influenced she my dad to be a good man. All of my uncles love their family. All my uncles are good their kids yeah. very much. Yeah, and good family men. Oh, and yeah. I think it's because my grandma and my grandpa, mm -hmm. los dos juntos. Yeah. A mí, mi abuelita, um, 
I love my grandma so much. Um, yeah. es, una, es una señora que nunca vas a escuchar una mala palabra. Yo he mirado muchas abuelitas. Um, and my grandma, no, no, ninguna abuelita le llega a los talones a mi abuelita. She's amazing. Because um, I remember que ella, en vez de preocuparse que le estoy destruyendo la, el sofá, she was more worried que my dad, her uh, son, was going to come home and beat me up. Porque le estaba haciendo a mess a su, uh, mi grandma. You know, um, my grandma... Uh, nos cocinaba la comida que queríamos. I mean, she was always there for all of us. You know, nunca nos gritaba. I love going to my grandma. We yeah. Do whatever we wanted. Y she nunca nos cool regañaba. She was so cool. She yeah. is so cool. And you know what? I, I'm in my 30s, and I mm -hmm. went to her house on Sunday, and I felt at home. Yes. Like, I walked in there. I didn't ask anybody. I went to the kitchen, made myself some coffee, because I knew when I walked in there, I'm wanted here. Yes. Like, these people... They love me. And, like, this is my house. You know, yeah. like, you're I just feel, feel I feel, like, completely at home, you know. And, like, like I'm not, like, anyone's bother. Like, they want me here, you know. Yeah. And, like, a sense of belonging, you know. So, I'm happy that my grandparents claimed us. You know, like, I feel like I'm claimed. You know, like, they're, like, these are, like, my pride. This is my joy. Yeah. My grandkids, my, my children. And for that, I'm very thankful. So, my grandparents... You guys are amazing. You guys hicieron un trabajo. Perfecto. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we wanted to do this homenaje a la familia Vargas porque queríamos, por si al caso no saben nuestros tíos, por si al caso no saben nuestras, nuestro, mi abuelito, mi abuelita, nuestras tías, lo que nosotros pensamos de ustedes, ahora ya lo saben. Los queremos, los apreciamos, tenemos las mejores memorias de ustedes. Mm -hmm. Y queríamos hacer este video como en un homenaje a ustedes. Alrighty guys, see ya. Thanks for watching. <laughs>